Question two then. This is the curve. Find dy dx and then part b. So let's differentiate then to get dy dx. Implicitly 4x cubed. This is a product u to v dx plus v du dx minus differentiate this 4 y to the 1 multiplied by the something differentiated equals 0. So then dy dx bring it out here times by 3x squared minus the 4y is equal to move this over there and move this over there minus 4x cubed minus 6xy and then flip this around and we'll run a minus through this when we put this underneath so I'm going to run a minus through top and bottom over 4y minus 3x squared so I flip the minus through the thing underneath so there's dy dx okay where the tangent is parallel to the y-axis so when does this zoom off to the gradient zoom off to infinity parallel to the y-axis is when this equals naught so here when did the denom uh, denominator equals naught and 4y equals 3x squared okay so we can sub then sub that in x to the 4 plus 3x squared times y now it's another 3x squared over 4 so that will give 9x to the 4 over 4 minus 2y squared so this would be 9x to the 4 this squared would be 9 this to the 4 over 16 times 2 equals 34 so what have we got we've got an 8 we've got 18 over 8 and here we've got 8 over 8 so we've got 8 18 is 26 uh, 8 minus 9 is minus 1 17 over 8 x to the 4 equals 34 which looks promising so x to the 4 will be to 2 times the 8 won't it because the 17 will cancel with that to leave 2 and the 8 comes out which is 16 so x will equal 2 or x equals minus 2 are the two possibilities uh, when x is 2 we'll get positive and positive so this will be non-zero when x is minus 2 we'll get <coughs> this would be my minus 32 minus 2 we get minus 12 lots of y and that would be 3 again it's non-zero so we're okay so those two values don't incur any further investigation x is 2 and x is minus 2 so uh, x equals 2 y is equal to 3x squared over 4 wasn't it so that would be 3 and x is minus 2 and y is equal to again it will be 3 and these are the coordinates that we needed to find out